Yeah. I would have sued the, the the garden. I would the, the Brooklyn place. I would have sued the security people. UFC. I would have sued Rogan for not being there in the bus. <laughs> I would have sued. Everybody would have got a letter on Monday. Everybody would have got a letter on Monday. Oh yeah. Even just to send a letter for people that say no, because I might send five of them and somebody might go pay him. Yeah, pay him, pay him fifty grand to shut him up. But they both fucked up. The UFC called them and blew smoke up their ass, and they accepted the fights. Now they can't sue. Now they can't get no big money. God, that fucking sucks. That sucks. I wouldn't want. I wouldn't. And I wouldn't like if if I was Ray Borg or the other guy. I wouldn't fake it not to put Conor McGregor out of money. But he's got a hundred million dollars. He could pay forty of that. Yeah, and still stay with sixty and still fight again, bitch. I'm not looking to put Conor McGregor in jail. That's not what I'm saying. I'm yeah. looking to make him pay. You know, somebody that just recently signed Lyoto Machida. Uh, you guys have history together, and, you know, he plans on staying at 185, also doing some 205, but, you know, he's not leaving 185. Um, is that a fight that you would like to get at some point? 100%. 100%. Uh, I think we're in a different stage now. Uh, and uh, if he wins this fight and is the contender, uh, we're 100% going to do that. And uh, what exactly do you mean you feel like he's in a, in a different stage right now? Well, uh, he's older, and uh, there was drug testing in, uh, in uh, UFC. But uh, if, you, if I fight him, uh, he needs uh, a lot of drug testing too. Do you think uh, perhaps uh, he was under some... 100%. Uh, 100%. What, what makes you think that, like, you know, what makes you come to that conclusion? Back and look at this physique. I think uh, that says enough. Did you initially, uh, uh, the people had talked about you fighting as a beat, but then he was below you in the rankings. Was that kind of a thing where you wanted to fight up in the rankings and then people said, well, come on, Frankie gave you a shot, so you should give him a shot. Was that, was that what's kind of what was happening too? You wanted to move forward? Yeah, I wanted to move forward to, you know, just um, to type out, to fight a top 10 guy or whatever. People have to remember then, and then before I fight Frankie Edgar, I had seven fights. I had six fights in the UFC, I'm sorry. Sure. Six fights. Consecutive wins. And uh, four performances of the night and two uh, fight of the night, you know. Uh, who, who else? You know, who else? Who? Well, you want me, you want me to fight another guy outside of the top 10? Like, people are going to start wondering, what the fuck is this guy doing, no? So, people are never going to be happy, honestly, you know, with whatever you do. So, you got to keep keep moving and doing whatever you feel is better for you, for you and for your career. You know, I, I, I've been doing what I feel is, is best for me in my career. Well, style-wise, you when I heard that you and Sabita are going to be fighting, you know, what he's ranked, you know, I don't even know what he's ranked. He's 12. <laughs> he's, but, 12. Uh, he's now 12. <clears throat> I mean... Right away, I got excited, though, because yeah. Styles make fights. You guys both are dynamic fighters. You do really some unorthodox stuff with the striking. It's just your game's all around. I mean, this really does have potential of, you know, fighting the night. Just, just, I'm trying to think how this thing would go down. How do you feel you match with Zabit? Well, I think uh, he's a pretty good kick. Well, he's a pretty well-rounded fighter, you know. I think he's going to be good in any area you go. And, um, you know, I think it's going to be... And a scrap up there, you know, you know, with Sabit. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what, where we go. If we stand up in boxing, we we throw down kicks, if we grapple or wrestle. I think we're gonna be. It's gonna be an amazing fight to watch. Oh, DC. We all know. Lost twice to uh, John Jones. Second time, lost pretty badly. Yeah. Hey. Knockout. Of course, we all saw, you know, a bit of emotion afterwards from DC. Um, what are your thoughts, Lewis? What are your thoughts? I mean, because, all right, let's be honest. DC's the champ. I made a joke a while ago. DC stands for default champ, but that's not fair. He did test positive for steroids. Yes. You know, so, so you know, if you test positive for steroids, you're out of the equation. You are. But on the history books, and when, as far as everyone knows, when they look, we see two wins from John Jones over DC, but he's out at the moment. He's suspended. Now he's going to fight Stipe Miocic. If he beats Stipe Miocic, you know, I think there's definite, you know, grounds for him being possibly the greatest of all time. But the thing is, and this is why Jones tweets, he's beaten him twice. 
So he said, hold on a minute. If you think you're the greatest of all time, I beat you twice. I think if DC goes out there and beats Steve Miocic, then for sure. John Jones is out of the equation right now. I'd say that there's a definite argument for him being the greatest of all time, if not the greatest of all time. I mean, he's pretty much cleared out the light headweight division, as we know, apart from Jones. And then to go up and beat Stipe Miocic, who's an incredibly, the most dominant heavyweight champ the UFC has ever had. For him to do that, that would be absolutely insane. Not to mention the fact that Steve is huge. He knocks out all of his opponents. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he just got passed uh, by, uh, what's his name, Francis Ngannou, who everyone was, you know, kind of, you know, terrified of. So yeah. if, if DC can do that, if he can beat him, for sure. Now, of course, there's always going to be that John Jones thing. Uh, you talked about, you know, DC shouldn't be saying I'm the greatest of all time and this and that. And you're right, he shouldn't. It's kind of like, and before you jump on that word, I'm going to explain in a minute why he can. But it's like someone was asking me, a journalist, you know, do you think you'll be in the Hall of Fame? I said, that's not for me to say. I'm certainly not going to campaign for it. You know, if that's down to the UFC and whoever makes those decisions, if you want to do that, fantastic. But you'll never hear me begging to be put in the Hall of Fame. Just like DC shouldn't be saying, uh, I'll be the greatest of all time. But to be fair, he's not. That is um, interviewers asking questions. Yeah. So therefore, he has to answer them. I know for a fact, we had him on UFC Tonight recently, and we asked him, you think you'll be the greatest of all time after this fight? So when people are asking that question, of course he's, he's going to answer it. 